Welcome. Today in the studio, we have the CEO of Clavister, John Westberg, with us. John, for those not so familiar with Clavister, what kind of a company is it? Thank you, Ramil. So we are a Swedish tech company uh, operating in the field of cybersecurity. Uh, cybersecurity today is one of the hottest topics in the boardrooms, and it's even considered to be on par with terrorist attacks and, and climate changes when it comes to impact on the world economy. So in essence, you could say that we are part of helping uh, protecting business continuity for companies. We have, as many other Swedish tech companies, obviously been focusing heavily over the past, over our past 20 years of history, in building a, a world-class tech product. Um, but we've been less um, focused on investing in go-to-market. As a result of that, we have a fantastic uh, platform or portfolio of software that we have taken to market. We have built a fantastic portfolio of reference customers. And recently, we have started to transform the company into a real go-to-market driven company. Cybersecurity has been a buzzword for quite some time, and you, John, have been around for, for a while as well. Could you please elaborate on the development of the market in your view? Totally. So a few years back, uh, cyber attacks and cybersecurity was often associated with teenage hackers. Now, cyber attacks are real. They are being used as attacks on critical infrastructure, as part of election campaigns. And as I mentioned, it's a hot topic in the boardrooms, and it's really... Uh, allocated budgets now for, for investments in cybersecurity. Um, it's, the entire cybersecurity market is estimated somewhere around 100 billion US with a year on year growth on in the range of 5 to 15 percent, depending on what specific niche you're in. We, with our products, can address approximately 20 billion dollars of that market. And you mentioned a new go-to-market mm -hmm. with uh, more focus on sales and marketing. Could you please Correct. elaborate a bit on that? Totally. So we've built a go-to-market model with a channel organization. We work through distributors and partners of various kinds, system integrators, uh, service providers, OEM partners, who essentially take our products to their end customers. So by that, we leverage on the, the breadth of those organizations. We are adding salespeople to our organization as we go to manage those partners and manage end customers. And we expect a symmetric, typically 10 million sec from a new salesperson um, after a ramp up period. So that's our typical go to market model right now. So with the product portfolio we have, we provide obviously a, a distinct set of products to our customers and attached to each product is a service uh, subscription. The service subscription, uh, unlike many other software companies, is in this case uh, even 40%, whereas many other companies typically see software uh, support fees in the range of 10%. And because cybersecurity is something that has to be updated at all times, uh, the day the customer stops paying the subscription, the product is basically outdated. So we see that the customers deploying our products, they keep on using them as long as they, they um, uh, have a, a need for security, obviously, which is growing. And as a result of that, our recurring revenue is, is, is a steady increase. And um, in conjunction with your Capital Markets Day in March 2018, you established a uh, at least an ambitions plan for 2022. Totally. Could you please uh, elaborate a bit on yes. that? So what we have decided as a commitment towards our shareholders is a focus on short-term growth generation. So we're saying that tactics is our new strategy, building strong growth. If we lift our viewpoint a little bit looking at the horizon we established as an aspirational target for ourselves obviously not a commitment or a forecast but an aspirational target to reach five percent market share on our core markets being nordics germany and japan looking at the market size that would obviously correspond to approximately a billion sec of revenues and uh, the gross margin on that the gross margin we have as um, a target communicated that we should always be above 70% of gross margin and at all times have at least 30% recurring revenues. Thank you, John. Thank you so much, Ramil, for having me. And thank you, everyone, for watching.